good evening one and all now we are going to see lecture number 26 in power electronics tray electric and hybrid vehicle we are in the module 4 we have completed uh, the first part of module 4 which was electric vehicle one lecture in the second part of module 4 that is hybrid and electric vehicle is also uh, uploaded so this is the second lecture in the second part of module 4 so first part was electric vehicle second part is hybrid electric vehicle in that we have already seen what are the concepts of hybrid electric drivetrain that is there are two energy sources with two energy sources there are nine modes of power delivery from the source to the uh, load all those things we have checked yesterday today we are going to see in this 26th lecture two main points one main point is architectures of hybrid electric vehicle drivetrain so there are mainly four different architectures four block diagrams we are going to see and then we are going to start with series hybrid electric drivetrain so series hybrid and parallel hybrid are the main two types used in vehicles so before going to series hybrid we have to see all the four types of architecture of hybrid electric vehicle drivetrain i told you what is the difference between drivetrain and powertrain whenever suppose there is ic engine and there is a electric battery both are supplying power to the load so from the link uh, f engine to the uh, drive wheel that is one uh, powertrain and another powertrain is from the battery to the powertrain and whenever we are combining these two powertrain we are getting actually the hybrid electric drivetrain why electric because one of these two powertrains is actually producing uh, motion from electricity so electricity is stored in battery uh, from there the battery is supplying energy to the motor motor is running it is given the power to the drive wheel so that's why it is called as hybrid electric drivetrain electric because there is a electric source electric motor and hybrid because it is a hybridization of ic engine based vehicle as well as battery now uh, the primary source is uh, either a fuel cell based or ic engine based uh, source uh, which is actually a high uh, specific energy source and secondary sources generally a high specific power source which can be ultra capacitor ultra high speed flywheel or specially designed batteries so today we are going to see architectures of hev drivetrain and series hybrid electric drivetrain let us first have some introduction to the hev drivetrain drivetrain is actually the combination of all the powertrains so the architecture of a hybrid vehicle is loosely defined as the connection between the components that define the energy flow routes and the control parts traditionally hvs were classified into two basic types that is the initial classification it was series and parallel so series actually is called as electric couple electrically coupled drivetrain parallel is also actually called as a mechanic coupled uh, drivetrain so it is interesting to note that in the year 2000 uh, at that time it was new concepts actually at that time uh, there were four categories of HEV drivetrain two are already mentioned series and parallel two more were there hybridization of series and parallel at the same time so one was called a series parallel that was the third type series parallel hybrid and fourth one was complex hybrid so these were the main four types series parallel complex and series parallel specifically the two classifications or uh, the classification of four that is a uh, second type of modern classification are not very clear and may con cause confusion so actually we are going to see all the four types of uh, architecture and we are going to discuss in short what are the uh, advantage disadvantage of all these four types of classifications so in an hev there are two kinds of energy flow uh, in the drivetrain so one is called as a mechanical energy flow which is generally uh, produced by the ic engine and it goes to the summer or adder and it goes to the wheel second one is the electrical energy which is generally produced by ultra capacitor or specific uh, specifically designed battery they are actually giving the power supply to the in intermediate converter converter is giving power to the motor and motor is connecting its power to the wheel so there are mainly two energies mechanical energy by ic engine and electrical energy by the battery or ultra capacitor adding these two powers together or splitting one power into two 
uh, at the power merging point always occurs with the same type of power so it cannot happen that we are mixing mechanical power with electrical power so whenever we are adding actually we have to add two electrical power or two mechanical power so whatever converters are connected after the sources it is their job to see what is the other powertrain doing accordingly it has to convert the in input energy into output energy so when we explain series parallel series parallel hybrid we will see that addition and subtraction of power can happen either in electrical domain or mechanical domain somebody cannot say that i will add electrical power with mechanical power that is not possible okay so this is a very important line that adding two powers together or splitting one power into two at the power merging point always occurs with the same type of power that is either electrical or mechanical so it cannot be electrical and mechanical so it is either this or that perhaps a more accurate definition of hybrid architecture or hev architecture may be to take the power coupling or decoupling feature such as electrical coupling drive train so series uh, hybrid is actually called as a electric coupled electrically coupled drive train and parallel hybrid is actually called as a mechanically coupled drive train there is a series parallel uh, hybrid which is actually called as mechanical electrical coupling drive train that is also possible so that is actually a mixed drive train as far as our uh, as far as our syllabus is concerned either it can be mechanically coupled or parallel or electrically coupled which is called as a series type of drive train now this is a question which can be asked for 10 marks so there are four architecture i can ask all four Uh, in ten marks, or I can ask at least two to three. So as per the marks, if I ask only series and parallel together, so these are the smaller diagrams. In that case, we have to explain uh, the series uh, coupling or electrical coupling as well as parallel coupling or mechanical coupling together into block diagrams. In that case, this small block block diagrams you have to draw. So there is a question which can be asked as explain series coupling for ten marks. In that case, there will come a very big diagram. that i will show in slide number 10 or 11 but if i ask two or three different types of coupling or two or three different types of uh, hev in that case the small uh, diagrams are required so we are going to see the first type of uh, hev drive train which is called as a series uh, coupling or which is called as a electrical coupling so you can find here there is a fuel tank there is a ic engine and there is a generator so fuel tank is giving uh, Uh, you can say chemical energy to the IC engine, and IC engine is converting it into uh, output. So output is nothing but mechanical. So out output of the IC engine is a mechanical uh, energy, and you can find here that below there is a battery. Battery is actually giving the electrical power to the power converter. So whatever is the mechanical energy, mechanical rotation that is actually going to run the generator, and generator is also going to produce some electricity. so generator are mainly two types one is dc generator ac generator ac generator may be called as an alternator right and this battery can give dc power to this power converter but power converter may convert it into ac so battery is always a dc device it can give dc power to the power converter and it actually converts the dc power into ac generator actually can produce a ac power so ac power from the converted output of battery and ac power from the generator they gets coupled here so this is a power converter as well as ac electrical power coupler and together they are actually producing a ac output so first ac power is coming from a converted uh, energy from the fuel tank ic engine generator and ac power second ac power is coming battery converter and ac power these two powers are getting added and this is a electric motor obviously of ac type okay uh in that case this electrical motor is going to take ac so this electrical motor is a induction motor in that type induction motor means ac motor it can be three phase it can be single phase depending on the uh, whatever power is required at the wheel okay so this is a mechanical transmission kind of a thing so input to this single phase or three phase ac motor is nothing but ac and output is mechanical you can see here mechanical links are shown by double line electrical uh, links are shown by dark lines and there is a hydraulic link so you can find your fuel tank to ic engine is a hydraulic link because from the fuel tank uh, liquid uh, gasoline it goes to the ic engine so all these links are very important whenever you are drawing them in the exam 
you can use different color pen or you can uh, draw them by different shades of pencil blue pen black pen accordingly so better always you should keep three different types of ink that is pencil blue pen black pen with all these three things freehand diagram neatly drawn big diagram you can show this uh, series electrical coupling of HEV drivetrain so again I will just tell you uh, so first source is fuel tank this is the primary source fuel tank it is giving uh, a chemical that is uh, liquid chemical to the IC engine it is producing uh, rotation that is what our mechanical output at the output of the engine that rotation gets converted into AC power by using generator and then battery battery is going to give DC to this power converter power converter converts it into AC power so generator output AC and power converter output AC they gets coupled at this stage only so this is an electrical coupler so input of the AC electric motor is nothing but AC input and output of the electric motor is uh, mechanical power and that mechanical power is given to the differential from there it goes to wheel and the vehicle moves so this figure shows the functional architecture of series hybrid drivetrain you are finding that it is actually electrical coupling which is happening at the power converter or electrical coupler so key features of this configuration is that two electrical powers are getting added together at the power converter it functioned as an electrical power coupler to control the power flow from the batteries and generator to the electric motor or in the reverse direction from the electric motor to the batteries so whenever there is a scope of uh, break or regenerative braking at that time this motor ac actually acts as a generator so from this rotation at the transmission uh, at that time this mechanical link uh, does act as a input so in that case this motor acts as a generator and in this line uh, this is actually the output in the reverse direction from there the electricity comes to the power converter and from the power converter the converted DC energy comes to the battery so this power converter is a bidirectional converter this electric motor can be acting as a electric motor as well as electric generator never I mean never the electrical power goes back to the generator and to the fuel tank that is never the flow for regenerative braking regenerative braking always happens in the secondary source so whenever there is a regenerative braking from the transmission to the electric motor there the mechanical gets converted to electrical again this electrical is getting converted to AC electrical to DC electrical because battery cannot save AC battery can only save DC or store DC Okay, so this power converter is a AC to DC converter and it converts the DC it goes to the battery and gets stored so it functions as an electrical power coupler that means this power converter of this whole system when the power flows from the batteries to the generator to the electric motor or in the reverse direction from the electric motor to the batteries so this is how the uh, series type of electrical coupling HEV drivetrain is explained the fuel cell tank and the IC engine uh, and the generator constitute a primary energy supply so you can find that these three blocks fuel tank IC engine and generator these three blocks are actually part of the primary source and battery power converter motor actually battery and power converter they are actually the part of second source and electric motor is actually common for the whole sources all the sources and electric motor actually is a part of the output device so the fuel tank IC engine and the generator constitute the primary energy supply batteries function as the energy bumper energy bumper means battery act as a high specific power source and fuel tank act as a high specific energy source so generally the fuel tank is actually driving the whole vehicle whenever there is a very big need or urgent need of uh, peaking power so the word is peaking power source PPS so now onwards you should remember this word peaking power source that means whenever the power goes towards peak that means heavy demand of electrical power is there at that time only this uh, battery or the secondary source is activated and then only the secondary source supply uh, electrical power uh, to the battery a uh, battery to the uh, power converter power converter to the electric motor and it acts in conjunction with the fuel tank so fuel tank also sends uh, indirect electrical power or derived electrical power to the power converter battery also sends electrical power to the power converter together they run the electric motor which runs the wheels so left side this is a brief description right side there is a, a block diagram all these things you have to explain uh, during your uh, 10 mark question where I ask two or three different types of HEV drivetrain now here you are finding very important thing parallel or mechanical coupling type of HEV drivetrain 
whenever i am saying mechanical coupling that means you can understand that there will be a mechanical coupler so in the previous series step there was electrical coupler in this case fuel tank actually is supplying the hydraulic energy to the ic engine ic engine is producing mechanical rotation and here the generator is missing so generator was the biggest problem with series uh, hev drive train so whenever it is asked what is the comparison between series and parallel which also can be a very big question very common question first thing first difference or main difference you have to say that the series uh, type of uh, hev drive train it does have a generator but parallel type of uh, mechanical coupling or type of hev drive train it does not have a generator that's why the parallel type of drive train is little more flexible and it is less heavy due to that uh, generator the series type of drive train was little more heavy okay so parallel hybrid drive train configuration is shown here you can say that the key of this configuration is that two mechanical powers are get it, get added together in a mechanical coupler so this battery is giving electrical energy to the power converter power converter is producing ac or dc depending on the type of the motor uh, it can be ac it can be dc so the power converter can be dc to dc chopper or dc to ac inverter whatever it is so if the motor is ac motor or induction motor in this case the power converter will be a inverter because battery always produces dc so battery dc will get converted to ac if this motor is a induction motor if this motor is a, a dc motor either series or parallel whatever in that case this power converter will be nothing but a dc to dc converter or chopper we have seen that right so output of the electrical motor is electrical output of the ic engine is me uh, mechanical i'm sorry electric motor output is uh, mechanical i said electrical previously sorry for that output of the electrical motor is uh, mechanical output of the ic engine is mechanical in this coupler these two mechanical energy is getting coupled and that mechanical energy is given to the transmission now there are two types of mechanical coupling one is called as a speed coupling and another is called as a torque coupling so this mechanical coupler whether they are coupling whether it is coupling the torque from the two uh, mechanical sources or they are uh, coupling the speed from ic engine and speed from electrical motor so depending on that this parallel uh, hybrid drive train actually is again classified into two parts one is called as a speed coupling one is called as a torque coupling okay that uh, speed coupling torque coupling uh, we are going to see tomorrow in tomorrow's lecture which will be a concluding lecture for uh, uh, this hev uh, part so there we are going to see what is meant by uh, speed type of mechanical coupling and what is meant by torque ki kind of mechanical coupling who is more complex who is more useful all those things we are going to see nonetheless in this case you just see that electrical motor uh, mechanical output ic engine mechanical output they are coupled in the mechanical coupler and the mechanical energy is given to the transmission which drives the wheels in case of uh, this uh, mechanical coupling the ic engine is a primary power plant Uh, so in series also it was like that and the batteries and the electrical motor drive that is a uh, uh, secondary source drive they constitute the bumper energy source bumper energy source means whenever in need this battery power converter electric motor they will come into action otherwise in normal uh, driving thing or for cruise control kind of thing fuel tank ic engine mechanical coupler they are only going to uh, work in the normal conditions only whenever huge amount of extra power is required bumper power is required then only the battery power converter electric motor that is the secondary link will get activated so the power flows from each of this uh, sources that is from fuel tank or from battery can be controlled only by the power plants the engine and the electric motor so ic engine control is there power converter control is there electric motor control is there mechanical coupler control is there so there are many controls uh, which we can find in the whole system and whatever power goes to the transmission that is very purified very controlled power it's having uh, very high quality uh, of power that is being uh, given to the uh, output part that is the transmission part to the wheels so there are many controls very important thing they have said the power flows can be controlled only by the power plants the engine and the electric motor so there are many controls here and high quality uh, either uh, mechanical power is given to the transmission for driving the wheel now these two are the basic uh, hev configurations now we are coming for little complicated uh, hev configurations uh, they might they are not very much well used in uh, vehicles but then also for uh, theory point of view we should know this 
Now this is called as a series parallel uh, coupling. So series coupling is nothing but electrical coupling, parallel coupling kind of mechanical coupling. So this thing is called as a mechanical electrical coupling, which is called as a type of HEV drivetrain. So this is the diagram which is shown here. The distinguishing feature of this configuration is that employment of two power couplers. So in this case, you are finding here is a mechanical coupler who is actually coupling the mechanical powers. So mechanical power flow are having uh, two sources. So one source is fuel tank IC engine. So this is a hydraulic link then IC engine produces mechanical power given to the mechanical coupler. Another mechanical power comes from the battery, power converter and generator. So in that case generator acts as a alternator uh, sorry generator acts as a uh, DC or AC uh, motor. So in this case battery is giving the energy to the power converter. Power converter is giving uh, energy that is electrical energy to this machine. So instead of generator we can call it as a machine. It can produces uh, mechanical output from AC or DC input. So if the battery is giving DC to the power converter if this generator written here is a motor DC motor type so instead of motor and generator we should better call it a machine. So machine can be it can take the mechanical output from the top and generate uh, DC or AC at the bottom or it can take a DC or AC at the bottom and can produce mechanical rotation at the top. So both these things are possible. So this is the distinguishing feature of this configuration that uh, employment of two power couplers one is called as a mechanical and other is called as a electrical. So mechanical coupler you can see at the top that is above the generator and electrical power electrical uh, coupler you can see the right bottom. This is actually uh, combining the electrical power from the generator and electrical power from the battery and power converter. So this generator can act in bidirectional either it can act as a motor or generator if it is acting as a motor power flow is from bottom to top if it is a generator power flow is from bottom to uh, top to bottom right. So this battery can give electrical energy to the power converter if this generator is acting as a generator only it will generate AC or DC will give to the power converter. So DC from battery or DC or AC from battery or generator they will get added and electrical energy will be given to the motor and the motor will convert this electrical energy into mechanical energy. So this mechanical energy will be given to the transmission system. So whatever happens in this case one very important thing you have to see is for series parallel type of HEV drivetrain transmission always is getting mechanical power input to the left side of the transmission and it is actually driving the wheels from this mechanical power received from electrical motor as well as from mechanical coupler. The configuration is a combination of series and parallel hybrid structure. So you can find here that series uh, structure generator is there, parallel structure mechanical coupler is there, series uh, structure electrical motor is there. So all those things are there. So in this case you are going to find that the series and parallel uh, structure of previous two whatever has been taught they both are here. So it possesses the major feature that uh, both and more plentiful operation modes than those of the series or parallel structure can be obtained from here. So we have seen different uh, uh, driving modes that is only the uh, source one is uh, supplying the mechanical power to the load or only the uh, source two is supplying the mechanical power to the load or sometimes if we find that source two is discharged source one can be used to charge the source number two. Okay. Sometimes we are finding that source 1 is source 1 that is fuel tank that is gasoline tank is actually charging the battery and battery is actually directly sending the power to the transmission. So all these different 9 types of configurations we have discussed in our previous to previous lectures. So the configuration actually is a combination of series and parallel structures possessing the major features of both or more plentiful operation of the nodes than uh, modes than those of the series and parallel structure alone. So there can be many modes here uh, who is giving the primary power, who is giving the secondary power, how much power should be given by primary, how much should be given by the secondary and all those things huge amount of calculation continuously goes on inside the ECU inside the vehicle. So all those things can be done here. So it's a complex process you can check here. On the other, uh, other hand it is relatively more complicated and maybe more expensive. So if uh, any vehicle is using series parallel type of coupled or mechanical and electrically coupled drivetrain in that case driving will be little complicated as well as understanding the function, mixing the power all those things will be little complicated. 
Finally, we are finding complex, it is called as mechanical and electrical coupling. So, this is also a type of HEV drivetrain. In this case, you are finding the same things are there, battery is there, power converter is there. So, remember this power converter can be AC or DC type depending on the motor. In this case, a very special link you are finding here, that is from battery, it goes to the power converter, in, it goes to the motor or generator. Again, the same thing if I am saying that it is, uh, if it is acting as a, a motor in that case, so previous circuit. Uh, previous circuit and next circuit they are actually kind of it is uh, same so figure shows a configuration of so called complex hybrid which is a similar structure that of series parallel architecture so in the previous you have found it's a series parallel architecture in this case also you are finding a series parallel architecture only difference is this part is very clearly defined in this case of mechanical or complex type of HEV coupling there is a power converter and motor generator. So, motor generator was also there in the previous series parallel coupling, but this power converter is new. So, there are two power converters you are finding in case of this complex or mechanical electrical coupling type of hybrid uh, drivetrain. So, figure shows a configuration of the so called complex hybrid, which is a similar structure to series parallel architecture. The only difference is that the electrical coupling function is moved from the power converter to the batteries. So, you are finding that the electrical coupling function is moved from the power control converter to the batteries and one more power converter is added between the motor generator and the batteries. So, if it is a mechanical coupler is actually running this uh, device, in that case it will be acting as a generator, generator is producing the power, this power will get stored in the battery through the power converter or if uh, this battery wants to run this mechanical coupler, in that case battery gives the uh, energy to the uh, power converter depending on the type of the motor AC or DC power converters convert this battery DC energy into AC or DC and then this uh, motor or generator will act as a motor in that case mechanical power will be given to the mechanical coupler it will actually mix the uh, mechanical things and mechanical coupler will give mechanical output to the transmission so the only difference in this case is electrical coupling function is moved from the power converter to the batteries and one more power converter is added between the motor generator to the batteries more concentration is given on the first three configurations series parallel and series parallel this fourth type or complex or mechanical electrical coupling is not very widely used so now that was the introduction part of uh, uh, you can say hybrid drive trains now we are coming to the more specific part so six slides are there we are going to see a very big uh, block diagram uh, which is already shown towards the below right side it is called as a block diagram for series hybrid electric drivetrain and it actually uses the electrical coupling so in a series hybrid drivetrain two electric power sources feed a single electrical power plant which is an electrical motor that propels the vehicle so, if I ask only series hybrid electric drivetrain for 10 marks, this diagram you have to draw with the different kinds of source and different kind of direction of the electrical power, mechanical power, electrical combination uh, and all those things. So, this is the configuration shown below. In a series hybrid drivetrain, two electrical power sources feed a single electrical power plant which is nothing but the electrical motor. So, this motor is actually the receiver which is also called as a traction motor which is controlled by a motor controller and how does the power coming to this motor controller. So, motor controller is actually receiving electrical power from the two sources. First source is the primary source which is a constant uh, uh, high specific energy source. So, we are inputting uh, IC engine based uh, vehicle means we are actually putting petrol or diesel or gasoline kind of thing or fossil fuels into the fuel tank. This is the hydraulic link, the fuel tank is coming to the engine, so that is why this link is hydrogen, uh, this is a liquid kind of a thing and then this engine is actually uh, petrol driven or diesel driven, it is converting this uh, energy input energy into mechanical uh, output. So, this mechanical output means rotation, this is actually running the generator. Generator can be single phase, three phase, single phase AC, three phase AC, DC and all those things. Here it is showing three phase AC. Whenever it is three phase AC, it has to be converted to uh, DC. So, there is a rectifier which is called as a three phase rectifier and this rectifier actually is uh, converting this three phase uh, AC into uh, DC. Okay. So, this is uh, the primary link that is fuel tank, it is receiving uh, gasoline or petrol or diesel 
it is giving it to the engine engine is rotating this is the speed power curve of the engine we have seen what is the best operating region so we have found that from 40 degree, 40 km per hour to around 70 km per hour that is the range whereas the maximum speed of the uh, vehicle is 200 km per hour so from 40 to 80 you can say that this is the best operating range within which efficiency of the vehicle will be maximum Okay, so this engine is running, it is producing uh, rotation, this rotation is getting uh, inputted to a generator, generator is producing electrical energy, if the electrical energy is three phase, it is connected to a three phase rectifier, rectifier produces a single phase DC or uh, not single phase DC, it produces a pure DC. So this is the primary link, primary energy link. What is the secondary energy link? It is the battery stack is there, this is the battery pack, this is the battery charger. Uh, from the external supply so we have talked about plugged in electric vehicle so from there uh, battery pack is getting charged okay and that charge is given to the dc to dc converter and they are actually getting added at this point with the output power of the rectifier so fuel tank engine generator rectifier is the primary dc link battery charger battery pack dc to dc and uh, another dc uh, coming to the primary link so this below this vertical link is called as a bumper uh, DC power link or bumper electrical power link whereas this fuel tank engine generator rectifier they are actually high specific energy source they are the constant uh, source of uh, driving power for the vehicle okay so at the output of the rectifier or at the output of the DC to DC converter the two DC energies or two electrical energies they are getting coupled so here it is written that there is an electrical coupler, so rectifier, DC to DC converter, they are actually the part of the electrical coupler. So every simple thing in this case is actually explained, you are finding here dashed lines are actually the battery charger, here you are finding that there is the direct charging of the battery. I told you that sometimes uh, the engine or IC engine actually the primary source charges the secondary source through the uh, rectifier, through the uh, coupler in between electrical coupler or converter. So here you are finding that link that is this engine actually whatever mechanical input it is giving to the generator, generator is producing a three phase uh, AC then there is a rectifier. So this rectifier actually is converting this three phase AC into DC. So this DC, con DC to DC converter is a bidirectional converter. It can take the power from below to the above and above to the below. So whenever there is a very big need that battery is totally discharged, battery must be charged. So in that case vehicle is a static condition, this motor is not receiving any power from the engine. All the power from the engine is going to the DC to DC converter and through that DC to DC converter it is going to the battery pack. So sole aim of this case that is one of the mode of the nine modes we have seen yesterday. So one mode is the vehicle is stopped in the roadside and you are finding that the battery is fully discharged so you are utilizing the engine or fuel tank energy to recharge this battery uh, while at a standstill condition so direct charging of the battery this is one way of charging the battery primary source is uh, making the car stand still in the side corner and it is charging the battery that is the secondary uh, battery charging phenomenon and third battery charging phenomenon as was explained previously it was a regenerative braking so when the front of the vehicle is down and it is uh, going in the downward slope at that time we find that this mechanical transmission it makes this uh, traction motor act as a traction generator or it's a generator like acting it is doing so in that case the output mechanical energy gets converted into electrical energy and through the dc to dc converter it is uh, getting converted to dc and that dc is coming and charging the battery pack so this happens only during electrical braking or vehicle is going downward that time also we push electrical braking so that is another very important characteristic of this whole uh, drivetrain so here you are finding whatever is a mechanical transmission output so left below axis is vehicle speed perpendicular axis is tractive effort we have seen this is the one gear system okay so initial uh, torque is around uh, 6 to 8 kilo newton and here is actually the torque speed characteristic so x, x axis is always vehicle speed y axis is torque you are finding that this is the traction motor uh, torque speed characteristic this is the mechanical transmission system uh, torque speed characteristic and obviously you will be finding that uh, this uh, these two will be actually kind of similar so whatever is the traction motor and whatever is the mechanical transmission torque speed characteristic they should be in the range okay so this is all about uh, this block diagram every block you have to explain 
individually so what we are finding is in a series hybrid drivetrain two electric power sources uh, feed a single electrical power plant so what are the sources one source is fuel tank engine generator another source is battery battery pack and dc to dc converter they are actually uh, getting combined at the output of the rectifier or dc to dc converter this two uh, electrical energies are getting converted or getting added now somebody will ask whether it's ac or dc i will answer that depending on this motor whether you are using a traction motor or you are using a uh, simple ac motor or dc motor depending on that um, uh, we are going to generate ac or dc at the output of the rectifier and dc to dc converter so generally output of the rectifier is dc only dc to dc converter output is also dc so in this case we can say that this traction motor is kind of a dc motor only if this is a ac motor in that case output of the generator directly you can con connect here or in case of dc to dc converter it can be a dc to ac inverter and at this point only at the bus this ac from generator and ac to inverter they will get added motor controller will take this power to the traction motor and in that case the traction motor would be three phase induction motor which is also used in ev in some cases so depending on the traction motor we have to decide whether this rectifier or inverter has to be connected here or dc to dc converter or dc to ac converter has to be connected here that's a big matter of discussion so generally uh, it is said that less than 200 kilowatt hour we are using dc greater than 200 kilowatt hour we are using ac or induction motors uh, output of the generator is connected to the power dc bus through the controllable rectifier so output of the generator is connected to the dc bus that means this is the dc bus through a controllable rectifier so rectifier can control how much power is to be uh, flown forward in the bus so bus means which is carrying the high high uh, combined uh, dc or electrical energy here okay so uh, controlling is at every step is very much important the bidirectional energy source is a battery pack why this is called bidirectional energy source because uh, it can accept energy from the battery chargers to itself or it can accept energy from the uh, output that is mechanical transmission to dc converter to the uh, battery source all these things are possible so that's why it is called as a bidirectional energy source is a battery pack connected to the power dc bus by a controllable bidirectional electronic dc to dc converter every word is important so this bidirectional uh, energy source this energy source battery pack it is connected it is uh, actually connecting the external energy as well as the feedback energy feedback energy due to uh, regenerative braking and this is the external energy which is coming from the grid through the battery charger to the battery so both are actually charging this battery pack that is very important so bidirectional energy source is a battery pack connected to power the dc bus by a controllable bidirectional electronic dc to dc converter the power bus is also connected to the controller of the electric motor so this is called as a power bus which is uh, carrying very high power because power is coming from two different sources that's why this is a high power uh, you can say bus okay traction motor can be so i'm going to the next slide the traction motor can be controlled so this is the traction motor which is being controlled by the motor controller so it is called it is uh, controlled by a motor controller or generator controller either in the forward direction forward means left to right or in the reverse direction from right to left so you are finding that this is the mechanical transmission system which is having a, a mechanical link and uh, it is actually can be used so this mechanical link can be used as forward or reverse in both directions so the traction motor can be controlled as either a motor or a generator and in front or reverse direction uh, this uh, drivetrain may need a battery charger to charge the batteries by wall plug in from the power grid so this is battery charger is called as a plugged electric hybrid vehicle so this is the plugging this is a very normal way of charging the battery secondary way is from the engine through the generator rectifier through the dc to dc converter so primary energy source can charge the secondary energy source third one is a little difficult to understand that is this mechanical uh, transmission system is actually charging the electrical battery through the uh, motor controller traction motor dc to dc converter and also this is the only reverse path okay and this is the main advantage of uh, electric and uh, sorry electric vehicle that is uh, whatever energy we are pushing for braking that energy or that fraction energy is recovered it is not getting wasted 
in case of IC engine based vehicle or in case of mechanical braking all the braking energy that we are pushing actually it is totally getting wasted. So this drivetrain whatever is shown here series type of drivetrain may need a battery charger to charge the batteries by uh, wall plug in from the power grid. In the series hybrid drivetrain of EV an additional engine generator is present to extend the operating range which is otherwise limited by poor energy density of the batteries. So you can see that this battery whichever is there at the battery pack alone it cannot uh, fully satisfy the driving of the vehicle for a long time. The secondary source can run the vehicle but for a very short time. Very short time means uh, 2, 5, 10 minutes not more than that. But if you want the vehicle to be run con constantly with a constant uh, speed in that case this fuel tank, engine, generator, rectifier this is the primary link which is actually coming into action. Then question is why is this battery pack? This battery pack is called as a bumper energy source, high specific power source. Whenever the vehicle is going up the hill or it is accelerating very much uh, on the highway or it is going through mud or desert, at that time uh, the secondary source also becomes handy. So in this series hybrid drivetrain of EV additional engine generator is present to extend the operating range which is otherwise limited by poor energy density of the batteries. The drivetrain needs a vehicle controller. So you are finding there, there will be a vehicle controller which will be controlling the motor controller. So main vehicle controller is not shown here. So there will be speed sensors at both the wheels, there will be speed sensor at the generator uh, or engine operation speed sensor. Uh, all those things are there. So there are many sensors which are connected. So this battery charger, battery pack, this will be connected with current transformer, potential transformer, then uh, it will be connected with SOC or SOE, all those sensors will be there inside this battery pack. So this drivetrain needs a, a vehicle controller to control the complex operation of its power flow based on the driver's operating command through the accelerator and the brake pedal and uh, other feedback information from the uh, components. The vehicle controller of the IC engine uh, through its throttle electrical coupler no controllable rectifier and DC converter and traction motor to produce the demanded propelling torque or regenerative braking torque. So actually what is the job of this vehicle controller which is not shown here in this diagram but if you show a vehicle controller here overall vehicle controller you can say that master controller and that if you can connect here to the motor controller just kind of a instruction giving a link. So it will this uh, diagram will be complete. So this diagram is not complete without a vehicle controller and vehicle controller does many things. So whatever uh, feedback signals you are finding from here regarding vehicle operation, regarding charging, discharging, regarding each intermediate layer and its operation, all those things you can take back to the ECU for proper analysis. So whenever there is brake, whenever there are wheels, all these things can be fitted with many sensors and all those things can be taken back to the vehicle controller. So vehicle controller controls the IC engine uh, through its throttle, electrical coupler, uh, traction motor to produce the demanded producing uh, propelling torque of the regenerative braking torque. So this was the basics of uh, series hybrid electric drivetrain. So like uh, common, drive it, uh, common uh, electric drivetrain, this series hybrid electric drivetrain is also having seven. Okay, so previously it was nine but there are seven modes here. What is the first mode? Pure electric traction mode that means only the battery uh, is uh, driving the vehicle. So engine is turned off in this case. Pure engine traction mode that means here the battery is off or made inactive. The vehicle traction power comes only from the engine generator. The battery is neither supply nor accept any power from the drivetrain. That means primary storing uh, charging secondary does not happen here. Regenerative braking does not happen here. So this is only pure engine traction mode. The battery is neither supply nor accept any power from any drivetrain or powertrain. The electric machine serves as an electric transmission from engine to the drive level. So the electric machines serve as an electric transmission from the engine to the drive wheels. That means battery, whatever is given in the previous uh, direction, that is this uh, battery charger, battery DC to DC converter and then motor controller, traction motor and uh, mechanical transmission. So this initial top left side whatever we are finding, fuel tank, engine, generator, rectifier, all those things don't come or they are not used in pure engine, uh, sorry pure electric traction mode and pure engine traction mode is using only the engine, they are not using the battery. 
so i think i was mixing up actually so please be careful pure electric traction mode means it is using only the battery and pure engine traction mode it is using only the engine okay when pure engine traction mode you are using at the time the below uh, that is the electric part is not in use it is only using the top engine generator battery and all rectifier and all those things hybrid traction mode so traction powers were drawn from both the engine and the generator that is called as a hybrid power mode fourth is engine traction with battery charging mode so in this case the engine generator supplies power to the batteries that means from the primary source the energy comes to the secondary and the propel the vehicle simultaneously so in this case uh, the primary source does two things primary source gives its a uh, mechanical energy to the uh, ve vehicle transmission uh, there are many intermediate steps and second thing is it charges the battery also so that is actually called as a engine traction with battery charging so engine is giving uh, energy for traction that is for the vehicle forward movement as well as engine is charging at the same time it is charging the secondary of the battery when is it possible when the vehicle is on very smooth road there is no hurry and it is going very well on the highway 80% of the energy is given for uh, driving or traction 20% of the energy is taken from the <coughs> engine source to the uh, battery source which is a secondary source so that is what is called as a engine traction with battery charging regenerative braking mode so many times it has been explained that whenever the vehicle is going to the down downward slope at the time the output motor acts as a generator energy is flown back to the battery battery charging mode the traction motor receives no power in this case okay so the traction motor receives no power and the engine generator is operated only to charge the batteries vehicle is stopped here so in two modes we can charge the secondary battery one mode is here engine traction with battery charging that means here the vehicle is going forward and at the same time 20% uh, of the or 30% of the energy is taken from the primary and who is charging the battery in the mode 6 battery charging mode here only battery charging happens no traction happens that means the output motor it is not receiving any power mechanical power or electrical power from the engine or battery so in this case only battery gets charged so generally secondary source battery is in a receiving mode in this case so 4 and 6 4 is battery charging with uh, vehicle speed uh, high and the sixth case it is battery charging with vehicle stopped so these are the only difference hybrid battery charging mode both the engine generator and the traction motor together charges the battery so engine generator is also charging the battery and traction motor is also charging the battery that means primary to second cha secondary charging happening and as the vehicle is going downward in that case the regenerative braking also occurs together when both, both things are happening we call it hybrid battery charging mode so all these things uh, you have seen there were nine out of nine we are taking only seven uh, as a series hybrid electric drive trend so this will not be asked separately in the exam you have already seen this uh, nine modes of operation only you have to put it in the context of series uh, hybrid drive train that is the only requirement now three more slides are there uh, this slide is series hybrid electric drive train advantages so two advantages are explained in two slides and uh, last slide is actually there are three disadvantages which we are going to explain in this three slides so technicalities are done block diagram understanding is done uh, only we are going to see what are the advantages of uh, series hybrid electric drivetrain or it is called as a electric coupling so there is no mechanical connection so this is the first advantage there is no mechanical connection between the engine and the drive wheel so from the engine to the drive wheel there is no mechanical connection consequently the engine could be potentially at any point on its speed torque per map that means we can uh, keep the engine or we can control the engine depending on our wish the engine could be potentially at any point on its speed torque power map this advantage with a sophisticated power control provides the engine with opportunities to be operated always with its maximum efficiency region that means a series hybrid electric drivetrain it is very easy to take the engine to its optimum or maximum efficiency region i told you that for a 200 km per hour vehicle around 40 to 80 km per hour uh, is the optimal or maximum efficiency region so in this case we are finding that engine uh, is kept always with its 
maximum efficiency region so that's why series hybrid electric drive train gives high uh, traction efficiency so efficiency and emissions of this engine in in this narrow region may be further improved by some special design and control technologies it is much easier than in whole operating domain furthermore mechanical decoupling of the engine from the drive wheels allow uh, the use of high speed engines in high speed engines it is difficult to directly propel the wheels through a mechanical link such as gas turbines or power plants that have slow dynamic responses like starling engine so in this discussion that is in the first advantage what we found out was uh, the engine efficiency can be very easily controlled uh, to its optimal region or to be kept to its optimal region this is what is called as the prime advantage of series hybrid electric drive train <coughs> what is the second advantage so primary advantage is at any time we can have the primary or maximum efficiency uh, from the series hybrid electric drive train second advantage is in series hybrid the electrical motor have a torque speed profile which is very close to the ideal for traction that means whatever is the uh, electric motor characteristic and <coughs> whatever is the traction characteristics they are kind of similar so whatever uh, torque and all motor generates and whatever torque the vehicle requires they are kind of in very similar line so the drive train may not uh, need a multi gear transmission may not need a multi gear transmission therefore structure of a drive train can be greatly simplified and costless so in case of hybrid electric drive train we have found that <coughs> it should be a single gear system and in this case that is actually bringing some similarity between the motor characteristic and the required torque speed profile of the vehicle so therefore the structure of the drive train can be greatly simplified and costless so at less cost you are finding the required uh, drive characteristic from the overall uh, drive train furthermore two motors uh, may be used each powering a single wheel and the mechanical differential can be removed so this we have seen in case of the evolution of electric vehicle in this case uh, differential was not kept and there were it was called as a in wheel drive in the back side or wherever was a driving wheel in that we were using two separately uh, controlled Uh, motors inside the wheel so uh, this actually saves the weight or use of differential so very important thing two motors may be used each powering a single wheel and uh, mechanical differential can be removed so this is called as a uh, half mode or half model if we want further uh, increment in performance or further sophistication we can keep four motors uh, in four wheels uh, which is called as a in wheel drive or in wheel motors so all the four tires are having four motors and by electronic control or electric control we can control the speed of all four motors so in such configuration the speed and the torque of each wheel can be independently controlled so we have seen in the movies that uh, that vehicle is rotating in one place okay in the horizontal plane so one uh, point is fixed the other point is rotating very fast so let's say that left wheel is jammed front left wheel is jammed so there is a center of the arc and the whole vehicle is rotating by keeping the front center as the uh, at the center of the circle okay and the whole vehicle can rotate so in this case in wheel drive can uh, produce this kind of uh, response okay so consequently the uh, drivability of the vehicle is significantly enhanced uh, this is a very important uh, for off road vehicles which usually operate on difficult terrain such as ice snow and soft ground so whenever we are operating on difficult terrain like uh, there can be uh, through the desert there can be a motor driving competition or maybe the vehicle has to jump and vehicle has to rotate at a single point in all those cases the series hybrid electric drive train can do wonders because in this case four motors can be kept at four wheels and each wheel can be controlled simultaneously so we are finding that the series hybrid electric drive train give us a lot of flexibility and lot of better control the control strategies of the drive train may be simple compared to the other configurations because of its fully uh, mechanical coupling between the engine and the wheels okay so what we are finding is uh, in this case uh, uh, it is uh, a better coupling we are finding between the input and output side uh, so uh, we can do justice we can do justice and we can have a better performance from the vehicle 
what are the main disadvantages or limitations so series hybrid electric drive time limitation energy from the engine actually changes its form twice to reach its destination so from the uh, uh, whatever fuel tank it actually is given to the uh, engine so uh, you can say electrical to mechanical and again the output of engine is connected to the generator again from mechanical to electrical so from uh, chemical energy to mechanical energy by engine and by uh, generator mechanical energy gets converted to electrical energy and then it is getting added to the electrical energy coming from the battery so there are two energy conversion stages we are finding in the primary source and whenever there are more number of uh, conversion what we find is uh, the energy wastage actually is more so more conversion every conversion is have some kind of electric efficiency so whenever there is more conversion we will find that it will be uh, wasting some energy so the energy from the engine uh, changes its form twice to reach its destination uh, drive wheels mechanical to electrical in the generator and electrical to mechanical in traction motors so this inefficiencies to the generator and the traction motor may cause significant losses biggest disadvantage of series hybrid electrical drive train is uh, the uh, the existence of the generator actually the existence of generator actually is adding uh, to the weight and cost of the whole drive train last one because of the traction motor is the only power plant propelling the vehicle it must be sized uh, properly to produce enough power for optimal vehicle performance in terms of acceleration and gradeability so what we are finding is uh, traction motor is the only power plant so traction motor is uh, taking the electrical input from the motor controller output and is converting the electrical input into mechanical output okay which is the mechanical link between the engine and the uh, drive wheel at the output side so as a traction motor is the only power plant propelling the vehicle it must be sized to produce sized means sized properly to produce uh, enough power for the optimal vehicle performance in terms of acceleration and gradeability so these were all about uh, the initial part of the <coughs> hybrid uh, electric drive trains and uh, understanding of series hybrid electric drive train so in series hybrid electric drive train we have seen the very big block diagram we have seen the <coughs> functioning of series hybrid drive train and advantages and limitations of the series hybrid drive train so tomorrow we'll be having another lecture and in that we are going to cover parallel hybrid drive train and with that this module number 4 will get over so that's all from me today uh, good night and goodbye